Welcome to our deep dive into Telefonica's strategy for managing Scope 3 emissions. Telefonica, a global leader in the telecommunications sector, has made significant commitments to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions and is taking innovative steps to engage with its suppliers on climate change. Notably, Telefonica is one of the first companies to sign up to the Net Zero Standard, demonstrating their commitment to leading the way in sustainability. Telefonica has made a commitment to the Science-Based Targets Initiative, SBTI, to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions across its value chain by 2040. This includes a reduction of absolute scope 1 and 2 emissions by 80% and a reduction of absolute scope 3 emissions by 56% by 2030, both from a 2015-2016 base year. By 2040, Telefonica aims to reduce scope 1 and 2 emissions by 90% and scope 3 emissions by 90%. Now, let's delve into Telefonica's supplier engagement strategy, which is a critical part of their approach to managing scope 3 emissions. According to their 2022 CDP climate change questionnaire, Telefonica is focusing on two key areas, innovation and compliance. Firstly, Telefonica is running a campaign to encourage innovation to reduce climate impacts on products and services. They have engaged with 6.7% of their suppliers, which represents 84% of their total procurement spend and 90% of their supplier-related Scope 3 emissions. In 2021, they extended their supplier engagement program to cover more suppliers and thus more spend and supply chain emissions. They invited their most significant suppliers in terms of emissions to the CDP supply chain program to understand their climate strategies and help them set more ambitious emissions reduction targets. Secondly, Telefonica has incorporated environmental, climate, and circular economy criteria into their Global Supply Chain Sustainability Policy, SCSP. Any company that wishes to be their supplier must accept the minimum requirements established by the SCS in the registration and renewal processes. If a supplier does not meet the required standards or is not able to provide the information, Telefonica initiates the necessary processes to secure a commitment to implement improvement plans. To evaluate high-risk suppliers' performance, Telefonica uses two main tools, JAC, Joint Audit Cooperation, and Ecovadis. These tools help Telefonica ensure that their suppliers meet their sustainability standards and contribute to their Scope 3 emissions reduction targets. However, Telefonica acknowledges that the data collection phase and compliance checks are just the beginning. The real challenge lies in turning this information into action. Telefonica is now in a position to move forward, using the data they have collected to drive meaningful change in their supply chain and make progress towards their ambitious Scope 3 emissions reduction targets. Stay tuned for more updates on Telefonica's journey towards sustainability and their efforts to tackle Scope 3 emissions. If you're interested in learning more about how other companies are tackling their Scope 3 emissions, check out our video on PNG strategy by clicking the link.